Alright everybody, we are back with more Ulala Idol Adventure And yes, it's me, Tanker, I'm back Well, technically I'm always here <laughs> Alright, so basically Today, this video is all about beginner guide To what you should be doing daily For people who just started the game, alright So basically, this is not a guide to people who are already leveled max Or reincarnated or if you are very familiar with the game already all right so this is a guide to what you should be doing daily and what you can do and of course a couple of other guides as well all right so this let us let us start with quick battle guys this, all right let's just start with quick battle this is the most crucial part of the game should you be spamming this just randomly when you are starting the game no why all right because as a free to play, as a free to play, that 10% damage is very very crucial to your team, and it lasts for eight minutes. So basically, you have uh, you are a team of four, all right. You have uh, four players in your team. Let's just say that one of them do uh, do a quick battle uh, at all. Now nah, all of them do a quick battle at the same time. It's gonna just waste the effect, all right. It does not. It doesn't really. I mean, it does stacks, all right. It does stacks to the uh the, the uh the hours, but but it does not. It's just you know because like for for instance, if you are stuck in the boss, all right. If you are stuck at a a uh, a stage and you are looking for more power, a, a literal more attack, but because all of your team use up all your quick battle and you don't have even have extra damage anymore, so it's it's a bit wasteful there, right, guys. So keep this in mind, quick battle, when you're starting the game, it is very important. Only use it when you're at the top stage, alright? At the very, very top stage of the game. Never use it when you are still progressing, like you, you are easily killing the boss or something like, that, uh, like just one sweep the boss and you're done. No, never do that using a quick battle. Only use quick battle when you're at the very end of stage. So, so let's just take an example, if you are stuck at one stage already, even if you use all your food and everything like you max out all your skills but like uh, you're, you're, you're literally stuck then you can use a quick battle because you're at the top stage you're getting extra resources the extra materials extra xp you just use the boost and you instantly get a bit of an advantage all right a bit of an advantage you might have possible clear the stage as well all right clear the stage so one of the ways is that you not only the damage 10 percent Alright, uh, for for this, you can also use the food. But of course, if you are paid to win, uh, if you pay for the game, right? If you pay for the game, you can of course use your uh, post to purchase the uh, quick battle very very easily. So it's to be not that effective for the, uh, this guy. It's not that super effective. But again, quick battle is an important aspect to the game. All right, when you're progressing progressing through a stages uh, or, or a certain boss. Alright, in the main plot, alright, in the main plot. So for so for example, in this main plot, if I want to increase my power, oh look, I'm stuck. Let's just say I'm stuck in a challenge. So I all I had to do is just pop up the equip battle, and you give me a ten percent boost. But of course, I'm not gonna do that right now <laughs> because I'm not really progressing. I'm not looking to progress. But again, one of the other ways is to cook food. Yes, cook food, guys. Cook your food increase your power this is what i will do daily all right daily again this is a video about beginner guide on what you should be doing daily and how you can improve your power all right so let me just go through with you guys uh together because this is what i always do as well so basically you cook the food uh you do a quick battle and of course if you can cook uh you don't have to cook five times guys just cook one time like just once and, and skip it and that's enough right if i got green i got epic i got legendary it's it's all good but what's important is to look at the food stats yes the stats of the food so for example if you get the uh, legendary food that's increased 15 percent all right uh, let me just uh let me just go back a bit let me just show you guys the cook here um the food all right so basically we are looking at the attack buff right now yeah if you eat this food you either get a 1% which is the worst quality or the 15% which we just saw legendary all right a legendary but of course because i have hero souls i increases my uh, my foods 
football duration is not just like one hour maybe uh about two hours maybe or three hours all right i can i i'm, I'm not really sure <laughs> but i'm pretty it definitely increases okay it definitely increases that there's a there's a hero source that will increase your food duration all right so yeah you can choose either choose there's a attack there's a hp and there's armor there's only three actually uh, there's no defense i mean defense is basically armor but yeah there's only three sorry i, I, I bring up four there's only three so basically attack hp or armor all right so which one you should be doing uh, and which one you be you should be choosing well i would suggest that you go for three of them three of them is very crucial for you to progress through your power or progress through your stage and most importantly which food you should be eating like should you be eating the legendary food for maximum buff or should you just eat a brand uh, uh, epic and epic food for 10 percent buff a five percent difference yes it does make a lot of difference to be honest it does make a lot of difference but i would suggest to keep eating your epics only all right epics or either epics or the um the tasty uh tasty uh, basically the, uh, the rare the rare food all right but of course the percentage is much more lesser but again again if you have uh if you have if you don't, you don't have enough food then maybe you might try to go with the um the the rare food all right basically the blue one basically the blue okay <laughs> All right, so never eat the the reason why you should never eat the uh, legendary is because you will get a uh, you get legendary pets. Like those pets can actually benefit you. All right, those pets can actually benefit you. Can put them to the uh, the camp or you can uh, star up them and yeah, star up them. Of course, you can use other method to feast capture legendary pets, but still you can if if you are looking forward for for extreme damage but this is definitely the way to go okay this is definitely the way to go but i would not suggest to to eat this unless it's crucial like you're actually racing against time like of course if you're in hunting session as hunter yeah hunting se season or hunting session those are important times where you should be using heavenly delicacy delicacy yes delicacy so that you can actually um, improve your power, uh, improve your buff, uh, your stats, everything, and uh, become the top one because top one give you good rewards, guys. Extremely mm, good rewards. All right, a very very quick boost to your character. All right, so yeah, Re just remember that uh, you need to uh, keep that uh, food. Food is a very important buff to the um, uh, to the main uh, main plot of the uh, the challenge. Okay. So next we have we are gonna be talking about the the uh, the commercial street, all right? Commercial street is where we we buy all the good stuff. So basically, I I kind of buy the uh, the stuff already. So we, I can't really show you guys, but I bought skills. All right, this is a skill set, a uh, skill item, and um, rare fossils using only shells. Yes, in-game currency which is the shells which we can always get whenever we go when we, whenever we go afk this shell exists and it exists for me to buy the commercial street item basically any item that is um using shells i would buy it except for those items like like yeah, the equipment because i have a better equipment so i don't really have to buy it again all right guys I don't have, you don't have to buy it again because um there's no really any use it and never again guys never never purchase those items with starfish or using pose it's just a waste it's a hundred percent waste never do that and what you, and that's what i do daily okay guys this is how I, what i do daily and uh, i always buy all this um all these items so i save a lot and a lot of of uh of uh, skills and uh, a lot of items so yeah <laughs> and of course uh, toy store you can just do that uh, every single time i got like tons of them so just do just refresh them once in once once a time uh, if you haven't got the, uh, the items you want uh, try your best to get it because it's really important that you get the uh, the items you want and never forget you have a wish bottle as well so basically you can wish them to the to the specific item that you're looking for 
Alright, I'll go into more of the of the, uh, the wish bottle soon, but not for this video. Alright, so basically this is what I always do. And again guys, sometimes I have to let you guys know, like uh, the skill, the, the reason why I don't want you guys to use your starfish on, on certain type of items, I know certain type of items like, oh my gosh, it's an 11 level gem, isn't this good for 3.2k? No, no guys, no, alright, listen. So, alright, and I'm not forcing you guys, okay? <laughs> alright, see you, okay, see you. So basically, you either spend 3.2k for just one level 11 gem, or you, sp or you just spend that 11, uh, 33.2k for a hero souls that will actually increase your power, alright? Gems is just one part to, in to feel un uh, unless you fuse them. And you will get until the max uh, max gem, which is level twenty. Uh, yeah, as of right now, as of this video, level twenty is the max gem as of right now. Okay, I have not even maxed out my gem. Like I've been playing the game for one and a half year now, I have not even maxed out my gem yet. Of course, if I if I actually uh, pay for the game, if I boost my character, I would definitely be uh, having a. a level 20 jump by now but i do not i do not have that yet i am going with the free to play so yeah all right and better yet those items can be useful for your hero souls guys hero souls like you can you have to do the uh, hero survival I, of course i got way too much uh vulture so i can't really show you guys the uh, hero stones use your starfish okay starfish your pose on the hero souls this is where it is super crucial and super important as of the as of the, even this update every single update even for ancient equipment update hero souls is still one of the best one of the important aspect of the game where you should be uh, having it like uh, look at this this uh, gold pay pay it increases your uh, give you the 10 chances of uh, 10 chance to draw one additional hero souls all right additional time uh, draw the uh, 10 draws for 10 percent draw additional lucky ruins and every single three star hero souls on you increase your attack like even give you additional stats it's just way too good to spend it on the commercial streets and or any other items or even in the uh, the gift shop so basically i would suggest to always use the stoppage on the uh, hero souls when you're starting up the game uh, or when you uh, unlock the uh, the character and such all right guys and now let me go through the uh, the pad never forget about the pads so basically uh, every day just do one lucky ruins there's always one free just do one lucky ruins and that's it it doesn't matter uh, which one you get uh, if you get the uh, lucky lucky crystal of course just uh, like if you get one of the lucky like, crystal, always upgrade your main main uh, main pad to the maximum. All right. Uh, there's uh if you guys haven't uh, watched my uh, pad recommendation already, uh, do check out among my a lot of playlist though. I made I re I already made the uh I I already made pads video regarding what's the best and what's not what what's not the best. So yeah. Alright, um, pet adventure as well. Adventure, never forget. So basically, you just claim all this. Uh, claim one of the uh, uh what got it? The uh, items. Uh, adventure, and then just repeat <laughs> every single every single time whenever you finish it. Of course, you don't have to accelerate. There's no reason for you to accelerate. It's just a waste of your precious starfish or your pose just to get a legendary item, which I already have. Alright. Unless you're chasing against time, then there's a legendary pop up out of nowhere. Then you can do it, all right? Because uh, you, you remember this is a beginning guide. It's just starting the game. So if you haven't uh, if you haven't gotten a legendary, maybe you can, but I wouldn't suggest it. Okay, guys, I would not suggest to use your starfish on the adventure. All right, and now we have a we have the uh, the capture, all right? For the capture, now I wouldn't really suggest go with. Um, what call it? Fist capture? Yeah, fist capture. All right. I would not suggest to use a fist capture because there's always an event. There's always an event. Either uh, there's always uh, two weeks ahead of time. Uh, there's gonna be a tiger kid that chances up. Uh, Shadow Moon Wolf chances up, and even Tipsy Bunny chances uh, chances up. So basically, you have a chance to get those 
path that is very very crucial that is very important to the game where it's it's super powerful okay it's super powerful and that uh it's way of course it's way powerful than any other pets in the game because as you can see like i have so many pets i have gotten so like i can you can just capture every single pet you can in the game so as you can see i got 96 i'm saving up for an event guys i'm right and saving up for an event so basically sometimes all right sometimes yes there's an event where it requires you to do a lot of uh, fist capture and that's what i'm saving up for uh, because uh, sometimes it will give you free rewards so that's very good for as a free to play all right free to play is very hard nowadays it's like it's very rare they give a uh, event where benefits for free to play so it's very very crucial that you you save up some of the uh, some of the some of the vouchers so that you can actually uh, use them on on the events all right it's very very crucial but again for the for the cap, uh, pet capture i wouldn't suggest use the legendary i would suggest use the epic the reason why i do this daily is because i can get free pets okay so that i can actually get free pets and as you can see i got a lot of pets i got a lot of legendary i got a lot of epics oh my god i just keep scrolling 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 on a lot of rare pets as well and even the green pets which is the uncommon right right you say uh is it uncommon yeah uncommon pets so yeah so basically if i uh, had to select every single one of them i will have 213 and uh 2280 basically there's uh 22 that's a lot that is a lot of pets <laughs> basically you can yeah you can really save a lot of pets guys there's no limit all right there's literally no limit on how many pets you can have <laughs> you can save out as much as you want there's uh, the game doesn't restrict you for that so that's a good thing all right there's, that is a good thing and please Willala never fix this <laughs> Oh, if not, if uh, if he does, I'll have a uh, super hard. Uh, uh, I'll have, I'll have trouble. All right. So, um, all right. So basically, every single day, uh, quick enchant, uh, quick enchant your equipment, quick quick jump, and quick quick rank up. Very very simple tools, but of course, um, increasing your power. You can do the tempering and all the stuff. Of course, I only, uh, I only want to max onto intermediate because going more further requires more materials and more materials more chances to for you to fail all right there's no reason for you to really go up to the uh, the epic area because it's just not necessary okay guys not necessary that you have to go to the very very top for your temper at the early stage of the game okay do not all right do not all right but daily i wouldn't really do that all right daily i wouldn't really do that so the most easiest way for you to do daily and to for you to be increasing your power is to look at the adventure guide or guild all right sorry guild so basically here you can do the daily quest release a pad upgrade the gem so there's like i haven't released a pad yet and releasing one pet so yeah sorry releasing one pet will allow me to get a 46 gem why not just get one pad of a of a rare uncommon and just release it that's it i don't really okay the reason why i never release a purple pet because it gave me rare fossils like a rare fossils and this is very, very important i know i know you would say like uh, uh mr tanker but mr um you know rare fossils is good for pet research <laughs> no i mean yes i understand that i understand the point but i'm holding it for the app for the uh what do you call it an event all right of course i could have um i could have saved up like uh, i could i could always release a purple pet but the problem is purple pets is important for your farm as well like sometimes it's for your farm or for something else it's very important because you have to remember some like like uh if you are here in the um first anniversary of ulala there's a there's a there's a what do you call that the um event where you have to put up your 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 pet to the uh, to the market uh, to the uh, to the store and just to convert it to their currency yeah yeah it was oh no to just to get the free rewards yeah daily basically a daily task or a daily questing in the season one so basically you have to exchange your pet for certain rewards so 
that's one of the crucial point would like would you actually just use your epic pass rather than your uncommon like uncommon is just you can at least easily just get uncommon but because i have hero source that gave me uh, a chance up for me to increase my and my epic epic chances of course i will get more epics so yeah so yeah that's uh, one of the ways so i completed that and so yeah daily and also always to do your arena as well always uh, do do arena until three times three three days or oh, looks like i kind of failed my uh, arena here but i couldn't get it but yeah always do three times a day because um, let me just show you guys the uh the uh, the things the rewards all right so the reason why i suggest three three arena because three rounds three rounds of arena is enough you don't have to go more than three rounds but if you of course if you can go more than three rounds go for it but because the items is the items for the um, arena is very important until the third one uh, for the, just for the chest okay if they switch around this area that will be crucial but if you just started the game and you are if, if, if you don't have enough uh, the rainbow stones then definitely go for the max five rounds um, just try your best if you can't succeed just wait for your friends or your teammates to, to come online and do the arena for you all right all right it's a it's a team challenge thing it's a team challenge right so basically do that every single day hero heals his clothes under construction there's gonna there's no news about it yet so yeah uh, do that daily uh, always complete your uh, daily quest always do your daily quest because if you're in a clan as well for example if you're in a clan it helps out your clan and even gave you free starfish it's just, it's just mm, so good easy starfish like like of course you guys started with 30 starfish at first okay 30 starfish but the reason why i have 46 is because of hero souls like again never never spend your he your starfish on anything else other than hero souls let me just show you guys the uh one of the uh, the current the current hero soul or hero shards that gave me plus four starfish yes plus four like i have so many of them like bark even gave me one of them and some other some 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 other some more there's just it's just so good it gave me extra stats as well and hp so it's not a bad thing guys it's not a bad thing hero souls is one definitely one of the ways so basically the moment you unlock hero souls and uh, as a beginner or low level yeah definitely definitely always go for the draw never skip them of course always do them when there's an event only okay like currently there's top days left uh for the burning trough for the season five try your best to get every single one of them uh, all right but of course of course if you uh, run out of starfish and then that's bad luck i can't do anything about it <laughs> all right so yeah and uh daily daily gift shop i wouldn't really suggest to buy any single one of them. yeah to be honest i don't really suggest but if you pay for the game yeah of course of course you buy, buy most of them right and of course the uh, relu uh, reloose invitation i would definitely buy that because it gave me like what rare 10 rare fossils and special tempo but that's when you have a uh, uh, extra extra starfish okay extra star starfish because you, you just started the game don't use that on release invitation unless you have extra starfish all right guys you saw an extra starfish on a hero source instead all right um yeah i think that's all i think that's all i hope the uh, this video helps and never forget to check out your clan uh check out the uh, the chat and uh and such so yeah and of course uh do just don't remember uh, uh sorry don't remember <laughs> said the wrong thing remember to uh increase your skill uh, because i already had increases to the max so i don't really need to do that do that anymore because uh, at the early stage of the uh, the level you have to increase your your um, your skills so basically to increase your skill to the max so you always have to look out for that and always always remember to to uh, fight uh, what could I, uh, eat quick battle and eat your food to unlock more stages of and um, of course i can't really show you guys here in, in this video i tried to make an, another video regarding how how you can uh, uh, how to progress through okay guys 
I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to make another video about it. Okay, guys, I, I'm so sorry about this. Sorry, sir. I'm so sorry about this, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, take care, everybody. Peace and see ya.